Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and today I'm going to do a video, I call it a service video, it's for a purpose to serve others, uh, but before I do that, I really want to thank all my new subscribers, I got a whole bunch of them in the last couple of weeks, so please click the subscribe button, and more importantly, I want to thank all my supporters who support the Electric Israeli channel by becoming a patron so please do that as well become my patron and help me out so we can continue to do this amazing work and today's uh, video is really about uh, people who are debating uh, to get into the EV plug-in hybrid um, market and what should they get a pure electric car or a plug-in hybrid so if you have one you obviously know the benefits of each one I have two uh, electric cars one is pure electric the one i'm driving right now the nissan leaf and i have also the um uh, plug-in hybrid the chevy volt um so what what is the advantage and disadvantage of each one and i'll and, and i will give you all the details and you can you can make your own choices um in general in general in general in general i always always favor in the pure electric for the pure electric car for for all kinds of reasons but i will give you both sides so you can get it um basically ask yourself a question what do i need this car for okay if it is your only car and if your commute is far and if you need it if you need your car for everything then then to have one pure electric car today today it is very possible to have just one pure electric car this Nissan Leaf that I'm driving now, it's a small battery, 24 kilowatt, about 80 miles range. If this would be my only car, it would be difficult for me to do certain things. I do it, I do most of the things with it, but there are certain things it would be hard for me to do, like going to Florida, like I go every, every year. It would be virtually impossible. However, having said that, uh, Teslas give you tremendous range and tremendous uh, charging infrastructure. It could be your only car, but the problem with Tesla is very expensive. H having said that, the second-hand market of Teslas are more affordable, and the Model 3, which is still being delivered in limited uh, numbers, uh, still is not. You cannot just go buy one tomorrow. If you place an order for a Model 3 today, you'll get it in two years. So obviously it's available, but not available. However, the Chevy Bolt is available. Uh, Nissan Leaf has 100, the new one has 150 miles and they're coming up. So can a pure electric car be your only car? Depending on the car and depending where you live and if you have enough infrastructure, uh, charging infrastructure to go long distances. It is much more possible today than it was a year ago and it will be much more possible in six months from now and as time goes by you absolutely can have a pure electric car today uh, when I get my uh, model 3 uh, I can certainly um, you know I was going to hand over my Chevy Volt for my son and both my wife and I can certainly live on on, on a pure electric car no problem 100% service no problem now uh, if that's not an option for you because of infrastructure or whatever, then a plug-in hybrid is a very, very good idea because it gives you uh, a certain amount of range. The Volt, for example, gives you the highest uh, pure electric range, uh, and that is about 50 miles. And then once it goes, uh, runs out of miles, it, uh, it has uh, gasoline. It goes, it goes on a hybrid mode, which gives you about 40 miles per gallon the um the uh, prius prime for example will give you about 50 55 miles per gallon after it runs out of uh, of electric range but the electric range is small it's only 25 miles or so and in the winter of course it's lower so the uh the biggest advantage of plug-in hybrid is that there are no worries you can go with it anywhere anytime not a problem you can put gas and go and the other big advantage is that it has enough miles for your day for your daily commute so to speak for your daily commute so they so it can really serve you all around now the biggest advantage now go back let's go back to pure electric the biggest advantage of pure electric is that there is very little maintenance cost i mean serving this nissan leaf is almost a nothing burger 
uh, beside tires and, 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 and wiper blade, which every car needs, there there is not much to do. Nothing, quote unquote, goes wrong with this car. There's no oil changes. There's no smog. There's no exhaust system. There's no radiators, carburetors, plugs, uh, pistons. Nothing. It's a two 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 parts car. It has a, a, a battery and an electric motor. That's it. That's all she wrote. So to maintain and to run in a pure electric car, it is a, the biggest advantage. After you factor everything in, it's the biggest, biggest advantage. On the other hand, uh, the plug-in hybrid car, it does have a gasoline motor a generator that keeps the battery charged. Well, if it's a gasoline motor, it needs a gasoline, obviously. It needs oil changes. It needs certain things that maintain gasoline. Now, is it the same amount of uh, frequency services like you would have in a pure, uh, a, a regular gasoline car? No, it's still by far less, but it does require that. And when the gasoline engine comes on, you hear it. And when you get used to driving electric in electric mode, once you hear that gasoline noise, you don't like it. You, you're not gonna like it. But that's the way it is. It has a huge advantage of no range anxiety whatsoever. You can go anywhere. And it has, and most of them have enough miles to serve your daily commute. My Chevy Volt serve, serve 80% of our driving in pure electric. Only 20% of our oil driving is in gasoline mode, which makes the trips to the gas station very, very infrequent. So they both have their merits, so to speak, but I can tell you that as time goes by, for 99.999%, a pure electric car will do. And I'm talking about, let's say, the 2018 Nissan Leaf and up, 150 miles, uh, Chevy Bolt 240 miles, the expensive Teslas, of course, 250 and up. Model 3, uh, you know, gives you enough, plenty of range and infrastructure. My, the, the Teslas have the best deal because you have great infrastructure. So that's, that's that. So they are expensive and the other ones are not so available. So that will take time. So if, I, if you can figure out your daily commute and your daily, your daily life, I, and if you can pull off a pure electric car, I would 100% recommend that over a plug-in hybrid. But if you can't, a plug-in hybrid is a wonderful, wonderful option. 100% wonderful option for you to do 100% uh, of your, to fulfill 100% of your need and give you uh, 50 to 80% uh, uh, electric driving for, your, for, mo for most of what you need. All right, so I hope this was helpful. Like I said, both have advantages, disadvantages. But as, like I said before, as time goes by, the need for a plug-in hybrid will be less and less, and, and then there will be no, they will not be necessary. And pure electric cars will be the only thing that you will need. Even today, it, 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 it can do that. All right? Okay, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Help me change the world one electric car at a time. Please support my channel. Become a, become a patron. And I'll see you next time with another Electric Israeli episode.